connecting to a PLC with RSLink. To demonstrate how to use RSLink to configure and establish a communication link between a PC and a PLC, a Slick 500 PLC is used. The Slick 500 PLC consists of a 7-slot chassis, a 1747L31 processor, and various I.O. modules. Before using RSLink to configure and establish the communication link, the Slick 500 PLC is powered and physically connected to the PC with a communication cable. For the 1747L531 processor, a no modem serial cable is required. One end of the no modem serial cable is connected to the RS-232 port of the processor and the other end to a USB to RS-232 adapter. The PC running the RSLink program does not have a built-in RS-232 serial port, so a USB to RS-232 converter is used. Next, open the RSLink program. Once the program is running, click on the blue cable icon button in the toolbar to add and configure a driver. In RSLink, a driver is a communication protocol. Since the 1747L531 processor communication port uses the DF1 communication protocol, Click the Available Driver Types drop-down list and select RS-232 DF1 Devices. Click the Add New button and enter a driver name. The driver name is changed to Slick500 underscore DF1. Note the driver name because RSLogic 500 Pro will need it to communicate with the Slick 500 PLC. Next, select the COM port where the communication cable is connected to and select SLC Channel 0 in the device drop down list. It is important that the COM port number is correct. Next, click the Auto Configured button. The Auto Configured feature of the RSLink program will cycle through all the possible combinations of the communication settings until it finds a combination that matches with the Slick 500 PLC. Auto configuration successful is displayed if the correct communication settings are found. Click the OK button if the auto configuration process is successful. After that, click the close button to close the configured drivers window. Verify that a communication link is established between the PC and the Slick 500 PLC by opening the RS Who window. Click on the second icon to the left in the toolbar to open the RS Who window. In the RS Who window, the driver list is displayed in the left window pane and the device list is displayed in the right window pane. Next, Expand the Slick 500 underscore DF1 driver that was just created.
If there's an active communication link between the PC and the SLIC 500 PLC, a SLIC 500 PLC icon will be visible in the device list window pane. Make sure that the SLIC 500 PLC icon in the device list does not have an X on top of it because that indicates a communication problem. In this case, there is no X mark on the SLIC 500 PLC icon in the device list. A DF1 communication link to the SLIC 500 PLC is now established. The RSLogic 500 Pro program can now interface with the RSLink program to communicate with the SLIC 500 PLC.